Carolyn, tonight I had the chance to talk to the wife of Jermaine Tillman. She tells me she does have forgiveness in her heart. She will forgive that shooter. But tonight she's concentrating on the memories and the lives he saved. <laughs> Emotions unleashed outside of East English Village Prep this afternoon. Many standing behind a wife and her family. So the East Side got to come together and stand up for this one. And that's for me to y'all, all right? By all accounts, Jermaine Tillman was the kind of guy who would get out of bed in the middle of the night to help you. A volunteer mentor to many teenagers in the crowd, also fighting to get others to walk away from gangs. This is how, and how the kids did it and how they signed it. And I'm, I'm keeping it. His wife shared memories with Action News, cracking a brief smile at a sketch of her husband. Her world shattered earlier this morning when Tillman was shot to death on Chatsworth Street. I'm empty. I'm numb. No words. And when you're out there trying to figure out which way to go and what to do and how to live, I want you to think about Jermaine too. The large crowd said goodbye with candles and stories, many thinking how could this happen to the man who'd been there for them so many times. He just did what he can do and he was good at what he did and it was all about community. It was never about him. I got to keep moving and I can't carry all this anger and hate in me for this man. I forgive him. Tillman was also the stepfather of Devante Sanford. By now, most of us know his story. He was wrongfully convicted of murder at the age of 14 and recently released from prison a few months ago. Of course, police are still investigating this case. For now, we are live on the city's east side. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Aaron, thank